Hey guys, welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing this week. Off the rocks with Derek. What we've done is jumped in the car and we've driven down to the Coromandel. And we are just along the Thames coastline today. Always driven past it, sort of heading out to sort of Port Jackson and stuff like that. And I've always thought, um, kind of, you know, snapper, do they actually get along the coast here? Is it just small stuff? Or do they get some something decent every now and then? So thought what we'd do is we'll head down and uh, have a bit of a crack along the Thames coast. Got the uh, mussel farms out in front of us. So um, yeah, hope we get into a few fish. Hope you guys enjoy. Just found this cool little uh, rock that we're going to fish off. Have a go. Nice deep water out in front of us. It's uh, probably double, maybe three times over our head, just straight off the ledge here. We had a few um, piper swimming by before. We had um, kawai bubbling out there. We've got a burly, but what we're going to do is we're just going to flick a few baits and um, see if it's worth staying here. There's obviously a few sort of corners we can um, go and have a shot off. But we came across this one. It's a little bit steep to stand on and stuff like that. But it's nice and uh, quite deep out in front of us. I was looking on the maps last night and um, around this area it's sort of 8 to 12 metres, obviously further out. But um, it's nice and deep. Water's a bit clean. Further along the coast you go, it gets a little bit cleaner. But we thought we'd start here. And then um, maybe make our way back. If nothing really happens. Derek's having a few little uh, nibbles as we speak. But uh, what we're hoping for is um, hooking into at least a car wife for some fresh bait. But I know they get a lot of little fish along the coast here. Sort of around that 30, 35 centimetres. 35 is not too bad. You know, half a dozen of those are pretty cool. But um, we're hoping we get into a few decent fish along the coast. We'll probably set that burly if we decide to stay here. Might even get a um, king turning up, who knows. Never fished here before. Derek reckons he's going to uh, pull up a 10 pounder out of here, so. Just never know. But yeah, we basically got um, the Firth in here, Mussel Farms, Kaiawa, out to um, back of Waiheke out here. And then around the corner goes round into the Coromandel Township. So uh, fingers crossed. Maybe if we get that burly going. Derek's hooking them up. Just little fellas, probably around that sort of 20 centimetres. And that's the problem around here. I do know you get a lot of those little school fish. Maybe, maybe if we get that burly pumping, we might bring something bigger in. But uh, there's plenty of fish here, which is pretty cool. Let's just hope there's um, something bigger. Just running my um, tournament concept today. Little 10 footer rock rod. And my Coronado 60 bait runner. It's perfect for off the rocks, what we're doing. Just running a little ball sinker, basically a floating line, the ball sinker. Derek got uh, hooked up before, so he's taking the sinker off, which I'll probably end up doing. It's floating baits. But I quite like starting with a sinker. It's 
So yeah, just running, running a little ball sinker, probably about a one ounce, a little bead. Derek's hooked up again behind us. And just a uh, seven barrow, no swivel, just straight to the braid. Hooked up guys, just a little fella. Getting a lot of little fellas here. There you go, just a little fella. Plenty of these guys about. I would say maybe fishing early morning, late evening, when it's dark, you might get some bigger ones. But what we might do, it's just a little bit hard to fish here on this ledge. What we might do is actually just go on to the side here, there's a pebble beach. And we'll still be fishing that same area. It's just around here and we'll be fishing out here anyway. But what we might do is chuck on some um, heavier reef sinkers, maybe sort of 4 ounce, 5 ounce. Chuck it out and um, see what happens. Hopefully we don't get snagged up too much. And getting out a little bit further might um, get something. Other than that what we'll do is we might head back. There was a couple of other rocks further back. Just want to find somewhere nice and flat where we can run the burley. It's a little bit hard to get across here to bring the burley and stuff. So I'll try one more. I've got a bit of squid there. Derek's headed over to the beach there. And then I'll head over there. And we'll have a couple of casts over there, see what happens. Actually using squid. Staying on a little bit better. Lots of little stuff. Ooh, gone. actually heaps of piper down in front of us don't have any little hooks which is a bummer well we've done a bit of a shift guys what we've done we were actually going to head back towards Thames and we we're um and ahhing it was about sort of half 10 11 what we decided to do was head a little bit further along the coast so we've headed towards Port Jackson we're not actually at Port Jackson we're still down that coastline got Coromandel back there but we've um, found this nice little ledge we were looking for somewhere to bring our burley, so we're just going to plonk our burley in here. Can't really get across here. Would have been nice to have gotten out in front of here. But uh, we'll just get that burley pumping. Looks like the current's flowing that way. So it's going to take our burley down that way. And we've got um, a couple of balloons. Got my live, uh, my live bait gear as well. So if we end up getting a kahawai, we'll chuck a livey out as well. You just never know, might get a king mooching around here. But yeah, real nice coastline here. Looks nice and deep. And we just got a little bay back here, we've parked up there, just walked out to the point. We actually um, started fishing down off that beach there and we were getting a few bites got a nice little grab but can't really um get the burly pumping over there so we've come to this point great place to come get on the point we're going to have a lot of sort of flow 
running through here and it just wouldn't surprise me kings would sort of move up around cruise around here and we might just sort of spend the the arvo here fishing to the late evening and then uh, head home so yeah see how we go at this spot Just chucked our burley in. Actually got a couple of piper already coming up. Be nice to see a few big um, snaps come up. But we'll just let that sort of flow there. Probably uh, try a few floating baits. Had a little sinker before but I'll um, stick with the floating bait. Yeah, heaps of piper turning up. Get a bait out. Little rat kangy guys. Getting in the weed a bit. Just a little fella. A little bit better where we were this morning. Bit of fun anyway. Bit of fun. Hooked up. Another little snap snap. A lot of little guys around. may change in the Arvo, late Arvo. Derek's hooked up. Oh, nice big car, boy. Livey. <laughs> oh, Don't drop him. Yeah. Do you want me to grab him? You're right. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Just <laughs> give it a little piercing. Right there. Beauty. That's a donkey, man. Yeah. Derek's hooked up again. One for bait, one for the smoker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a nice hit too. There you go guys, another cartway. Got one for fresh bait and one for the smoker. If those um, snapper come on the bite, a bigger snapper will um, use one for bait. I just got a real nice hit too. 
I'd say maybe um, in the late Arvo, tide coming in. Might pick up a few snaps, hopefully. See, it's at their kelpies. Yeah, we're catching kelpies, but they're just, there's no decent ones. Getting there. shift onto one of the beaches thought we'd finish the uh, night off Just fishing the beach a little bit easier just on our way home stopped off at uh, Ocean Beach had a few nice hits just before dark moons up Let's see how we go 